Welcome to the introduction video for DataView PC. DataView PC is a software tool that allows the user to quickly find and analyze signals of interest in large recorded data sets. If you know the Tektronix RSAs, then the DataView PC windows will be pretty familiar. At the top is the persistent spectrogram, or DPX, that shows a power versus frequency plot where color intensity indicates the amount the signal spend at each of the powers and frequencies. This gives you a good idea of what's occurring in the data over a given time. The middle plot is the scrolling spectrogram or waterfall display. This is a time versus frequency plot with color intensity indicating power. The warmer the color, the higher the power. The bottom plot is a scrolling time domain plot. This shows power versus time. Notice that the three displays are correlated or tied to each other, and each plot shows distinct characteristics that together paint a much better picture of the signals than you could get from a single plot. One more display that's really useful is the time overview plot. This shows power versus time over the entire file or some section of file that you choose. It gives you a quick look at the time domain power. Yellow plots the maximum value, green is the average, and red is the minimum. You can simply click and drag and zoom in to any particular portion of the recording. Now you can simply click on the play button and play that section of the file that you've chosen. Now let's talk a little bit more about control. Let's go to the settings menu. There you can control the start and stop time, the window function, FFT link, resolution bandwidth, turn on and off the displays, as well as setting the minimum and maximum values to plot for each display. Using the reset time index button, we can reset all of the time parameters setting the start to zero and the stop to the maximum length of the file. Now if we hit play, it will begin at the very beginning and go until it reaches the last sample point. The other important controls are the FFT overlap and speed sliders. The FFT overlap controls the amount of time to skip between FFTs. As you can see, this affects the way the data is displayed and plotted, as well as the speed at which it puts the data on the screen. This can be as small as a single sample, and the maximum is based on the FFT link. The speed slider dictates how often the results are drawn. In software, the more often the screen is refreshed, the slower the plotting runs. As you can see, this really affects the speed of the playback. Along the bottom, the sample rate, FFT time, resolution bandwidth, FFT overlap, and speed in FFTs per image are displayed. DataView PC can open XDAT, SIQD, TIQ, and R3F files. And then you can export all or any part or section of the data file to a new file, XDAT, SIQD, or TIQ files to create new data files to use anywhere, including directly into Tektronix Signal View PC. On these really big data sets, it's important to be able to search quickly. DataView PC allows the user to do a power threshold search, pulse search, or frequency mask search. Both power search and pulse search use time domain power to perform the search. Let's look at a pulse search. The pulse search gives you more flexibility than the power threshold search. Here you can not only set the threshold, but the minimum dropout duration and the minimum pulse duration. You can compute pulse frequencies and apply a moving average filter to completely refine your search. Let's go ahead and start one. All the searches create a list of e-markers with the results. From the e-marker list, you can add, save, or import markers, and you can also export them as PDWs. Along the bottom, you can see all the marker results in the progress bar. You can set start and stop times based on these E markers, and you can even add E markers. Frequency mass search is a frequency domain power search, very similar to the frequency mass trigger on many of the RSAs. It also uses E markers for its results with the same capabilities as the pulse search. This requires much more explanation and is covered in its own separate video. Now let's talk about the buttons across the bottom. The lower left corner, help and about, will get you to the user manual and the version number of the software you're running. The license manager will get you to the Tektronix license manager. The two RSA live view buttons 
will allow you to control Tektronix RSAs and record data from the 306, 500, and 600 series analyzers. These also require a much more in-depth explanation and are covered in their own series of videos. This has been an introduction to DataView PC. Thanks for watching.